Tell me when. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's intention, the second day of our novena on Holy Saturday. Today, bring me the souls of priests and religious and deacons. Most merciful Jesus, from whom comes all that is good, increase your grace in men and women consecrated to your service that they may perform worthy works of mercy, and that all who see them may glorify the Father of mercy who is in heaven. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the company of chosen ones in your vineyard, upon the souls of priests and religious and deacons, and endow them with the strength of your blessing. For the love of the heart of your Son, in which they are enfolded, impart to them your power and light, that they may be able to guide others in the way of salvation and with one voice sing praise to your boundless mercy for ages without end. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, Envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, 
creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was crucified, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body For the 
sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful Of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement of our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful past. his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful Of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. and the blood soul
and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement of our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful His sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity. His sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake 
of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the Before our closing prayer, I'd like to offer a brief reflection. I think if there was ever a time that cried out for God's mercy in the world, it is now. Our world seems to part be participating in its own prosecution before the throne of God, making the case against itself. I believe it has its roots in an individual and collective loss of humility. The kind of humility we encounter in St. Faustina's diary, as Jesus told her, I lift up the humble, even to my very throne, because I want it so. You know, I recall the passage from John, the woman caught in adultery and left alone with Jesus. You know, St. Augustine wrote, they are now only two, misery and mercy. I'm tempted to add, between these two, there is the silent cry of this woman, that overwhelms the heart of Jesus and moves him to compassion. It's really a cry of misery, a cry of humility. It's our prayer too before the mystery of the Holy Trinity, a prayer of adoration that begins with a cry of petition, a humble avowal of our misery. We all know what this misery is about, not only that of our sin, but also of our spiritual poverty. It's the very essence of what we just prayed. Holy God, holy, mighty one, holy, immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. It's God's holiness, his love for us sinners that becomes our joy. He gives us so many gifts that we can come to believe he loves us because of these gifts. In truth, it's through our misery, our humility before him that he reveals a secret accessible only to the poor in spirit. He teaches us the art of reaching for our misery as if it were a precious pearl, difficult to find and worthy of the most passionate search. The natural tendency is to flee from this, but eventually the day comes when we discover that we really aren't all that good, that we are sinners. On that day, we're able to accept his healing grace so that we can love God and through him love our neighbor. This discovery has probably taught me everything I know about prayer. Fix your eyes on his merciful love. Never fear to display the truth of your sinfulness, of your misery before his gaze. Let the Holy Spirit lead you, helping you savor Jesus' mercy, to realize how much you need it. When Satan reminds us, of, reminds us of our mercy, he throws it in our faces to cast us into despair. But the Spirit, the Spirit reminds us gently. 
He gives us the privilege of loving ourselves as he loves us. Let him help you understand God's mercy to show you how trials and temptations teach you to pray. Prayer is more than touching the heart of God with your cry. Through prayer, God will hollow out your heart so that you may hear his cry. For God calls each of us and keeps calling us indefinitely until we answer him. Here I am, Lord, the poor one who is calling you and needs you because I am utterly exhausted in my misery. And then he comes close and wraps us lovingly in his merciful arms. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen.